My butt's getting kicked. I've got a surprise. I got a booger in my nose, it's itchy. We have some news here. Not happy to have to tell you guys this, but. Hey everybody, we're back here at the ranch and yes, we finally had a baby. So I had to take a few days off and now we're back to work. It's supposed to be over hundred degrees for the next couple days. And so what we're gonna do is we're gonna do some work on the inside of the house. And then in the evenings, we will get back up on the roof and finish up doing some of the rest of this stuff. For today, while it's hot, I'm gonna work on more electrical. I'm gonna start drilling some more holes. Again, this Nikita right angle drill is awesome for doing that with an auger bit. So we're just gonna keep drilling holes and then we're gonna start running some more wire. I have the whole kitchen, laundry room, kids bedroom the circuits all wired so now i'm gonna hop over and do the office and our master suite and living room i'm gonna start working on that so much to do and so little time let's get to work guys i got plenty of stuff to do and you guys gotta watch so again this i am not a professional electrician by any means i have been in the trades for 20 years. I've picked up a few things from people that I know, from people that are licensed electricians and journeyman electricians. And so a lot of the things that I'm doing here, if you're an electrician watching this, you're probably doing the same thing that I do when I watch people try to build a house that don't know what they're doing either. So be nice to me, please. <laughs> because I, I am, I'm not a professional electrician. I'm not a professional plumber. And I build houses. This is what I do right here, this part. And so, uh, be nice to me, please. And if you guys have any helpful comments, make sure you put them down in the comments below. Any little tricks or tips that you guys like to do or things that you see that I'm very obviously doing wrong, make sure you leave it down in the comments because I need to get this inspected pretty soon here so I can get my rough end done, inspection done, and then I can start working on other interior parts of this house. Again, just if you have anything that's helpful to me, make sure you leave it in the comments because I look at every single comment that you guys make on here. I actually try to pay attention to them and learn. So uh, don't be afraid to leave comments about that kind of stuff. And, and go, that goes for anything on here when it comes to the plumbing, when it comes to other aspects of what we're doing here. If there's things that are probably not gonna pass inspections, then maybe make sure you put that down in the comments because I will pay attention to all that stuff. All right, everybody, it's the next day and I forgot to finish recording me putting in these last couple studs up here. I'm not sure exactly what window is going in there yet and it's most likely to be a custom window. Hopefully tomorrow I'll have some time to go and get that custom window ordered and then I can finish framing it into the exact size that it needs to be. But until I do that, I can't really go much further. So we're gonna go out here. Sorry, got the tripod here. And I got a booger in my nose, it's itchy. So what we're doing now is just another small little quick thing I gotta get done, but I gotta get it done so I can finish wiring up the bathroom in the garage or the toilet, I guess. It's not really a bathroom. That's just gonna be the farm bathroom. So when I come in the garage and I'm full of muddy boots and dirt and crap, literal crap, I can just go into there and I can make my mess in there and not have to drag the mess into the house. So I need to just put up these walls. We're gonna put, the, it'll be seven and a half foot walls and that'll give us space to have a little deck on the top of the bathroom in there that will allow us to go and have attic access. So we'll have a scuttle hole right up in there where we can get up in the, ac the attic. Uh, we're gonna get this, whoa, whoa. We're gonna get this wall or both these two little walls put together and then We'll find another project to keep working on. So let's get it going.
All right, everybody, so we got our bathroom, AKA my throne room, all framed in. I still gotta do the ceiling in here, but I'm gonna wait to do that with scrap two by sixes that I will use, or that I will get from when I frame in the ceiling in the wraparound porch. I'm gonna have a lot of cutoffs that'll work for this, so I would prefer to not waste material. So I'm gonna wait to do the ceiling till after, then I will be able to use some scrap cutoffs for my shoulders and my header in here too. I was able to get the electric for the outlet put in. I've got an outlet in there as well. That way I'm in there for long periods of time. If I need to charge my phone, hmm, sometimes it happens. I've got an outlet in there as well. And then we'll just put a light fan combination in this one. And then we'll put the scuttle hole right in there. So it's easy to get access up in there. It's not ideal, but it'll do. And I need to have another bathroom here. So I think we're gonna hop onto the porch here now in a little bit and start working on framing in the ceiling to the porch. And then maybe later this evening, I might go up on the roof and finish the last few sheets right up there. It's just the top row. And then I will start strapping my ice and water shield. I was told that because it is a 10-12 and a 12-12 pitch roof, it is perfectly okay to strap it, which means instead of running the sheets of ice and water shield like this, you run them vertical up over the ridge of the house. And so I've been told by multiple people that this is okay. If it's not, um, that's why it'll look a little bit different than way, the way I started doing the ice and water shield. And I'll explain as I'm going, but let's get to work on framing in the ceiling in the wraparound porch. So I've got to put some pieces of plywood out on the, um, the joist. I have to put some plywood on the joist so I can get my ladder up there, snap some lines, start running my ledger boards, and then we'll just start popping them in one at a time. All right, let's get to work. Welcome back to the ranch. It is super windy, so I'm sorry if the audio is terrible. I've got a surprise. No, I did not buy it. I'm just borrowing it. I'm borrowing this lift from Grant and Nicole over at Anchor Down Homestead. They are so gracious enough to allow me to use this to work on some of the stuff that I need to on my house. I'm going to use this lift mainly to finish sheeting up the gables because I'm trying to do this myself and it's just, it's not possible without a lift. This gable right here is the one that I need to finish sheeting. And then I need to build down my overhangs on the small section right there. So I'm gonna use it to get that all sheeted and get it tie back, house wrapped, whatever. And then I've also got another section that's just up a little bit too high for me to reach off of just a ladder on the roof. And so I need to finish up that section right there, which will go really, really fast and easy. And then there's one more section that I'm actually gonna use that lift for. Ugh. I both full of dust. I also need to finish up right here. I need to put on the last rafter on the west side and then do the overhang and then I can finish that little bit of sheathing and get it done. It is crazy right now. Again, thank you, Grant and Nicole. That is huge and it's gonna make my life so much easier. If you guys have not checked out their channel, make sure you go and check out Anchor Down Homestead. They are doing something very similar to what we're doing here, except they are doing it more of a DIY style build. They have some pretty impressive stuff coming up. Check them out. And again, thank you guys. I appreciate you guys being willing to lend me this piece of machinery. We're gonna get going here. I don't know if I'm gonna get up on the lift today because it's so dangerously windy. I think I might get working on another project, so. Thank you. 
All right, everybody, as you can see, got a nice haircut. I'm looking all slick here. Still keeping the mustache for a little longer. All right, we are back. Oh, geez, sorry, I'm climbing up a ladder, guys. We are back up here on the roof. We have gotten quite a bit of this roof done up with the ice and water shield. I'll show you what we got done on the other side, on the south side of the house right here. We've got pretty much this whole section done. I've got about a third of the roof over there to do. Yesterday I did come here. I didn't film anything. We got the valleys done on the dormers. So now we can just start running our vertical ice and water shield down this whole section as well. I still have to do a row of sheeting up on the top of the garage there. And then we're just gonna start running our sheets down. We'll just go as far as we can. I won't be able to make it all the way out there, but we are trying to get this all done up because we're supposed to have some thunderstorms tomorrow. I wanna make sure that the inside of this house is as dry as possible. Oh, I forgot to nail this. Ah, I wanna get everything dried in as much as possible because then I don't have to be pulling my tools in and out every day. I can just leave them in the house. Here, I'll give you guys a little bit of a view up here. This is our roof and it is steep. It's a 10, 12. The garage here is what's really, really steep. So let's show you guys. The garage is a 12, 12. I definitely cannot walk a 12, 12 pitch roof. We're gonna just try and get as much as we can without having to set up the lift and stuff. I just wanna get as much dried in as possible. I still need to do the porch roof right there, but that's the porch roof and it's just outside. So I'm not gonna be too concerned about it. I'm just gonna try and get as much as I can done today. Hopefully tomorrow, as long as I have it, enough of it dried in, I can work on the inside of the house while it's raining. So that is my whole goal behind this. I'm still not 100% sure when Jason's coming out here to do the roof. There's a lot going on on Maui right now, as you guys probably have seen with all the fires there. And so that is where he is from. And that is where we are from. That takes a lot more precedence than what's going on right here. And so we'll get him out here soon enough, get this, roof 100% dried in. But in the meantime, there's a lot of stuff I can do here. That's what we're gonna do today, guys. Let's get this thing dried in and get done. notice a little something different here. This section of the roof, as you can see right here, there is nothing after the edge of the roof. It doesn't go flat like the wraparound porch does, which makes it a lot safer for me walking on this. So I am actually wearing this harness, and then we also will use it when we do the garage too. As we get roofing, the actual shingling part of it, uh, whoever is up on the roof, whether it's me or Jason, we'll be wearing a harness. We'll have roof jacks set up. We'll have a machine here to start our first bunch of rows to make it a little bit easier. Okay, enough with that, guys. I should just shut up, shouldn't I? Uh, okay, let's get at it. Alrighty, bye, everybody. Welcome back. It's another day. <sighs> we have some news here. Not happy to have to tell you guys this. Yesterday, I found out that I lost my roofer. With all the things that are going on in Maui right now, my buddy can't make it out here. Plus his wife is pregnant as well. So he can't make it out here to do this roof. So that means this guy has to do the roof all by myself. If I had an extra month of summer, that wouldn't be a big deal, but I don't. Winter's coming and it's coming fast. And if I wanna be able to work on this house now, once the snow starts flying, this whole entire house needs to be dried in. Roof walls, windows and doors. I need to get going on the roof though 
ASAP. In order to go on on that, I need to finish building up my rakes. In order to do that, I need to rent a lift. There's a lot of stuff I need to do and I just need a different type of lift to do it now that I'm in crunch time by myself. So we're gonna try and get another lift here. Hopefully this week, I'm gonna work really hard on trying to find one. We're gonna get there guys. I had to sit down and take a breather today because I was losing my mind with everything that I've got to do and get done now. So we're going to regroup, get some lists and everything made up. I already started and get back to a place where my brain's working. So it is what it is. We're gonna get back to work. I'm gonna do my best to make sure I'm recording for you guys so that you guys can see what's going on here. So I'm gonna let you guys go and we'll be back with you in a little bit.